Previously on climbing Mount Everest, Annie turned on his head torch, Jamie put on some gloves, the Sherpa continued to read his book, there was an incident at the McDonald's drive through and the Sherpa made a miraculous recovery. As Danny and I sat around the stove on night two, our desire to quit was stronger than ever. With the cold really starting to set in, the Sherpa suddenly appeared from his tent. I have a few words that I'd like to share with you if I may. If by Rudyard Kipling, you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. Or being hated, but don't give way to hating. And, which is more, you'll be a man, my son. It doesn't even mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> None of that even makes sense. With the Sherpas moving, yet equally confusing words ringing in our ears, Danny and I aggressively jogged off for ascent number 12, leaving Carlos in the tent to mark some GCSE coursework. Not only was Danny bravely powering on from the front, he'd also taken up the role of creative director. Oh, the moon's out. The moon should be good. Quality. to keep the energy levels up with a little whisper maybe part two could be actually over yeah i think sherpa would be up for that <laughs> it's currently 11 pm on night two uh we're having a quick rest at base camp and carlos has a joke he would like to share with the group so someone said to me oh no go again, go again. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier today, I came across a, a young lady who had broken down in a car, and I said to her, do you want a lift? Because I was in a car as well. I said, do you want a lift? And I said, oh, you're a fantastic woman, and oh, you've got your life ahead of you, and there's a different type of lift. <laughs> well, that's the two Ronnies, not like that. That is classic. Nothing to add, I think that was well put by the Sherpa. Carlos's witty joke seems to have really lifted spirits. After around another three hours of walking, it was pitch black and freezing. Carlos kindly tried a ghost story to boost team morale, but even that had little effect. It was a dark night, as the villagers said. I don't care about the the haunted body in the graveyard. I don't. I don't care. Can't, can't move. Can't move. Two thousand years later. And the reason why he couldn't move, he had stabbed his cloak. He'd stabbed his own cloak. So, as the sun began to rise, we set off from base camp to complete our final 0-117-9884 of Mantor. This was not the euphoric feeling we had been expecting. There was no overwhelming sense of pride. But we all knew inside we had done something very special. Only 39 British explorers have ever summited Mount Everest. And after this video, that number remains the same. However, only three British explorers have ever summited Mamtor 17.117-9884 times in a row. <laughs> Jamie, Danny, and the Sherpa.
It's just this swing game. <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> like a cricket box. <laughs> 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 